Wow. Well, this is quite the chain of events. Here we have it. Tulsi Gabbard on the right. Dana Bash on the left. Dana Bash has been bashed multiple times. And I don't mean that in uh, a physical sense. I mean that in a sense of, well, she's encountered Jedi J.D. Vance. So there's that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, now you have Tulsi Gabbard who's joined the force of the, of the Trump administration. And Tulsi Gabbard is not one to be toyed with. To my understanding. And so, shout out to Tulsi Gabbard. And uh, let's see what's going on over here with Dana Bash and this whole conundrum. Okay? If you guys are new here, welcome to the King Squad. The best reaction shit on YouTube. And if, if nobody told you today, I hope you're having a great day at whatever time you're watching this video. Okay? I can't hear myself in these headphones. And, uh, well, I was hearing myself too much. But besides the point, I hope everybody's drinking their water and making their money legally. And uh, that's that. I will be giving my commentary periodically throughout the video, more so on the back end. Stay tuned for that. Let's get right into it. All right. The campaign Dana. manager released a memo this morning saying they expect former President Trump to be a, quote, formidable opponent on the. Be sure to like these videos, share these videos, and hit subscribe if you're new. It really helps the channel get out there. We're here to spread the truth and just get people more exposed to what's going on out here. A lot of people are like oxygen thieves and sheeple and mouth breathers. And uh, not you guys. You guys are awesome, okay? You guys are the king squad. And uh, yeah, Trump 2024. But uh, to the overwhelming, you know, majority of people that all they consume is the mainstream media, you know, they really have no idea what's going on out here. So it's really important that we get these videos out and stuff like this so more people can really get a, a more, you know, better understanding, a more balanced understanding of what's actually going on out here debate stage. Do you think Kamala Harris will be a formidable opponent as well? And how is the former president preparing to debate her? Yeah, I think Kamala Harris has a lot of experience. She is not to be underestimated. Uh, president Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris have very different records. This is a unique situation where we have two candidates who have served at the highest offices in the land. President Trump, four years as president, Kamala Harris, now almost four years as vice president, working alongside President Biden. And so this will be an opportunity for voters to look at and compare and contrast those records. Uh, if, if I can be helpful to President Trump in any way, it really is just in sharing the experience that I had with her on that debate stage in 2020. And frankly, helping to point out some- She looks so uncomfortable. Tosi Gabbard on the left. She kind of like resembles a, like a pissed off Squidward. And uh, yeah, nothing of this is making her excited. She does not look enthusiastic. Okay. She's sitting here like, how could you? <laughs> Traitor. Judas. <laughs> ways that Kamala Harris is already. And frankly, helping to point out some ways that Kamala Harris has already shown that she is trying to move away from her record, move away from her positions and uh, how that contradicts the positions and statements that she is making now that she is the Democratic nominee. And it is a remarkable situation in that you are uh, a uh, Democrat who debated her in a Democratic primary and now you are helping the Republican uh, nominee to debate her. There's a lot of pain behind that smile as she's talking. And on that, I remember in 2020, you attacked Harris for being too aggressive as a prosecutor, which is the opposite from what Donald Trump is saying about her as weak on crime. So which is it? What I pointed out in that debate stage in the 2020 campaign was her hypocrisy. It was how she was saying one thing and doing another, how she was prosecuting people for, for smoking marijuana and laughing about it when she was asked about it uh, on a radio show. And I think this goes to the heart of many of these different issues that we're seeing now that Kamala Harris is, is trying to hide from voters is how she says her position is one thing, but her actions and her record show exactly the opposite. And you can point to that on issues related uh, to the economy, issues related to freedom of speech. She says she stands for freedom of speech. And yet, as we've seen time and time again, her and Joe Biden have taken actions both directly and indirectly to censor free speech. Uh, most recently, I can point to my own experience of this, of how the Harris-Biden administration have added me to a secret domestic terror watch list the very day after uh, Kamala Harris was endorsed by Joe Biden. And I 
was on TV and warning the American people about what I saw wow. as the dangers of a Kamala Harris presidency taking action that was clearly political retaliation. They've done this yep. to a lot of different people, which points to how dangerous it is to have people in power so willing to abuse that power to go after political opponents. Okay. All right. Uh 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 <laughs> she's saying oh okay <laughs> there's too much truth uh uh malfunction beep boop bop beep <laughs> uh robo language uh yeah okay Th that's what the left does okay and that was made like blatantly clear if if you are brand new to politics, we could all see that with how they went after Trump with uh, Judge Angeron and um, Fannie Willis and Letitia James and E. Jean Carroll and all these ghosts of the uh, po political past are popping up and attacking Trump left and right. We saw that. OK, so I, I, I am not surprised that they would attack Tulsi Gabbard as well, especially she endorsed Trump. Somebody may have gotten word that she endorsed Trump earlier before she went public with it possibly okay dana bash is in full denial but that that's what we expect from hell let me let me get rid of this little cam real quick boom so you saw it what does that say oh you can't see it never mind well you know what channel this is this is cap news network communist news network commie news network and that's what they do clown news network drop down all your cnn names down below in the comments I go, I, I call them cap news network. Okay. And, uh, cause they talk a lot of cap. Okay. Cap means lies <laughs> for those. I have to, you know, tell them. Yeah. That's what cap means. It means cap. She's this, this, this channel is a bunch of cap. So there's that, but let's get right back into it. Oh shoot. Here we go. I'm not familiar with the secret terror watch list. We're definitely going to follow up on that, uh, but I do want to move on to what is happening with regard to controversy after <laughs> the former president visited Ar Arlington National Cemetery this week. His campaign took photos and video uh, of him in Section 60, where veterans uh, of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan are buried, used it in a campaign video. The Army also says that Trump staffers abruptly pushed aside a cemetery official who tried to enforce Arlington's rules prohibiting political activities. I know you were uh, with Trump at least earlier in that day uh, at the tomb of the unknown soldier. Did you witness the altercation at Section 60? 60? Uh, I was there from the, the beginning with the laying of the wreaths with the family members, the Gold Star family members and, and some of the survivors of that terrorist attack. Uh, in that disastrous withdrawal from Afghanistan. I was with them at Section 60, and what I saw was a very grave and somber remembrance and honoring of those lives that were lost. And I saw President Trump spending time at the invitation of these Gold Star families with them. Uh, he was there for a few hours. I did not see or hear about any kind of altercation until something came out in the news uh, later on. The families were there. Uh, grieving alongside uh, President Trump. And, and it was a very special moment to really remember their names, remember their memories, and understand the true cost of war and, and the consequences of the decisions that Kamala Harris and Joe Biden made in the execution of that withdrawal. Yeah, and it is very clear that the uh, former president was invited in his personal capacity, as you said, by uh, a, a family of uh, one of the service members who was killed uh, about a, about two years ago during the withdrawal from Afghanistan. It the was three years ago. Three years ago. Three years Thank ago. To Thank the you day on August 26th. Yes, wow. three years ago. The question is about. The she said, "Man, forget those people and forget you too." That's what Dana Bash just said. She's like, "Uh, the two years." Tulsi Gabbard is like, "Um." <clears throat> Three, thank you. Get it right. <laughs> That's what she said. And, you know, and then and then Kamala Harris doesn't show up. To my understanding, she did not show up. And uh, yeah, I mean, what that's to be expected. Are we surprised? No. I mean, I mean, she she didn't show up just like she won't show up for America. I mean, it's, it's common sense. And that's just what it is. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, share these videos and all that beautiful stuff. We're here to speak the truth. Thank ago, you. To Thank the you day on August 26th. Yes, three years Thank ago. You. Yes. The question yes, no. is about <laughs> the federal law 
and Arlington's rules that prohibit partisan or political activities at national cemeteries. And um, the military uh, and also other members of other families who are buried right near there are upset about the campaign filming it and posting the video online. Do you believe that was appropriate? You know, I checked with the campaign on this question, and uh, they have exchanges with the, the officials at Arlington Cemetery. They were approved to bring a camera there to document this historic and momentous day that should not be forgotten by any American. And to have a former president there and joining these Gold Star families, I know President Trump wanted to share that with others, especially given the fact that President Biden and Harris, I heard, were, were invited by some of these family members. They not only didn't come, they didn't even respond to mm. that invitation. And, and now to have Kamala Harris put this statement out yesterday saying that she stands with these families, she stands with the military and with veterans, you only have to look at the response that came from the Gold Star families of these 13 service members of how offended they were by that statement, given she has not made any effort, not on that third anniversary or any other time, to call them directly to offer her condolences and even apologies for their decisions that led to the loss of their loved ones. Do you think that the campaign will release that? No, I got something for uh, Dana Bash. <laughs> I want you guys to hear this. This question she just asked, Tulsi Gabbard. Harry, they were approved to bring the video online. Do you believe that was appropriate? I don't know, Dana Bash. Do you believe it was appropriate to skitty pop pop Trump? <laughs> Do you think it was appropriate to pow pow pew pew at at a presidential candidate? Okay, a a a, a former president. Do you think it was appropriate to sit here and try to blast him and, and delete him? Okay, do you think that was appropriate? It came from your side. Oh wait, well, the shooter he was like a registered Republican, but like he was he he like endorsed Biden and stuff like that. So. And then on top of that, he he couldn't have been for Trump if he's trying to skitty pop pop Trump. OK, just what it is. So, yeah. Do you think that was appropriate? <laughs> These ridiculous questions. I tell you, you guys, listen, really pay attention to what's going on because they they think we're sheeps. They think we're stupid. We are not them. <laughs> we are not them. We do not fall for just any old thing that we see on mainstream media. You know, I checked with the campaign on this question, and uh, they have exchanges with the, the officials at Arlington Cemetery. They were approved to bring a camera there to document this historic and momentous day that should not be forgotten by any American. And to have a former president there and joining these Gold Star families, I know President Trump wanted to share that with others, especially given the fact that President Biden and Harris, I heard, were, were invited by some of these family members. They not only didn't come, they didn't even respond to that invitation. And, and now to have Kamala Harris put this statement out yesterday saying that she stands with these families, she stands with the military and with veterans, you only have to look at the response that came from the Gold Star families of these 13 service members of how offended they were by that statement, given she has not made any effort, not on that third anniversary or any other time, to call them directly wow. to offer her condolences yeah. and even apologies for their decisions that led to the loss of their loved ones. Do you think that the campaign will release that uh, communication that you're talking about because the army uh, is I saying they very, already clearly, had, very but... clearly that that was that they broke the rules uh, because it was clearly put out online pictures video meant as a part of his campaign. I, I thought they already had. I was informed that uh, they had come to an agreement. They could. Man, Dana Bash is just reaching. And that's that's how you know when you don't have anything. OK, they they start making stuff and pulling stuff out of thin air when they don't have anything. And they try to take nothing and turn it into something. But they would had nothing at all to begin with. All right. Yeah. And then and then what's up with Dana Bash looking like she saw a ghost? The entire interview. And she just, are you that, you know, triggered from talking to Tulsi Gabbard? Does she trigger you that much? Like, what is wrong with you? Like, what is up? <laughs> it's clearly not your enthusiasm. That's that's definitely not up. That's that's all the way down. <laughs> and bring a camera there. And as far as I know, and the public statements I've seen from the Army is that the matter is closed. 
I think the matter is closed about the altercation, alleged altercation, which you didn't see, but I'm not sure it's closed with the idea that uh, they seem to have broken the rules and perhaps even federal law by broken putting out the, the campaign video. I broken the rules. I know you did not just say that. How many times have have they broken the rules just this whole time with a uh, 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 kicking, booting Biden and then selecting Kamala and all this? And, and you want to talk about uh, uh, breaking rules and all that kind of stuff. You got to be kidding me. I want to ask you about Here, here's I just like to say one one last thing on this because I think it's important and I've seen a lot of the, the headlines and the stories and the concerns that people are raising about this. But but to me, as, as a soldier and as someone who has been deployed to different war zones mm -hmm. in the world, and I have friends who are buried there at Section 60, what is more outrageous to me is that there wasn't universal coverage of the momentous day of the third anniversary of the loss of these 13 Gold Star families and the outrage that they mm -hmm. feel that they that their loved ones are not getting the kind of coverage and memory that their great sacrifice deserves. That that is what everyone should be outraged about. Well, yeah, we have covered the uh, horrible horrible events uh, three years ago, and uh, and have done so several times, uh, over and over again. So I appreciate you also talking about their memories because it is important. Before you go, uh, you said in an interview this week that you were interested in serving in a Trump administration, potentially as Secretary of State, maybe Secretary of Defense. Have you discussed that with Donald Trump directly? No, I haven't. You know, it's important for us right now to point out the difference between Kamala Harris and President Donald Trump, uh, what kind of president and commander in chief they would be. And really the leading um, concern that I have is about this, about the contrast between their positions and their records, and the fact that as we sit here today, President Biden and Kamala Harris have us embroiled in wars in three different regions of the world, have us closer to the brink of World War III and nuclear war now than ever before. According yeah, that's a big one. That's a that's an extremely big one. And if Kamala gets in office, well, we're already the laughing stock of the world right now, unfortunately. And then there's some people that disagree with me. I was like, well, okay, take that opinion and start your own podcast. All right. <laughs> America is in shambles right now. Okay. You got immigrants living the American dream and they haven't even been here for a whole year. And then the uh, the everyday American is getting absolutely wrecked out here, completely KO'd and catching all types of just Thanos fists to, in the face. And uh, then you have cackling Kamala just just cackling her way uh, all the way. To, she thinks she can cackle her way to the White House. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just nuts. It's just nuts. OK, this 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 whole thing. We, we can't do this. We we can't go to war and we have a cackling Kamala Harris. She can't finish a sentence. She 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 loses debates to herself. OK, she she doesn't know her left from her rights and her rights from her lefts. It, she's all over the place. I just I just think that we would be completely disrespected as a country. And, uh, you know, if we were and then you have you, they, you have are like you have like these other nations leaders literally banking on Kamala becoming president. They're hoping that she becomes president because they know that we're weaker with her in charge. What is she going to do? Like, is she going to lead us into prosperity, lead us into the promised land? I don't think so at all. I don't think so at all. I think let's put the businessman who actually deals with money in charge, okay, who actually is focused on, okay, how well, let's put America in the best position possible. Let's let's get the paperwork straightened out first, okay, and then we can have fun on the back end. And I, I like that guy better, okay, not this chick who just thinks, oh, yeah, this looks like a fun job. How do I apply? I just go on Indeed.com and boop. She's just, I just think that she's unqualified. I think she's unfocused. I think America would be all the more a bigger laughing stock of the world if Kamala Harris gets in charge. And um, at that point, you know, say your prayers. <laughs> According to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, and this should be of concern, not just to Republicans and Democrats, it should be a concern to all Americans because yep. what's that question is our ability to have a future.
and 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 Kamala does not care about us having a future. I'm a, I'm gonna just blat- make that blatantly clear. They they got a, a a school bus made to delete kids on it, and they had that at the DNC convention. That is the most backwards slap in the face I done ever seen in my life. Okay, I saw I saw the school bus put side by side with the prison bus. I saw that picture. But then when you come up with a school bus, and it was an actual school bus, I don't think. Maybe it was. I can't remember exactly. But it was like a it was a bus, and it was to it was a uh, yeah. It was a, 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 a deleting babies bus. We're gonna just say it like that. And I'm just like, well, it tells you everything. And then, and then she's all for the war. Yes, fight on. No, no, no. She's willing to just, hey, we got a full batch of Americans right over here. We can just sacrifice them to the nanny goat and and, and ruin their lives. Like like we don't have families. Like we don't have a like we don't have dreams and ambitions. Like we don't want to live out our life peacefully. And you know. I, and then and then they're ushering in the brand new Americans and these people are, you know, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. And that's that's what's going to happen, too. They're going to call the, the immigrants the new Americans and then they're getting all these benefits. And it's, it's just a giant slap in the face. She does not put us first at all. And that is not somebody who should be in charge. Definitely not. And to live in a free society where we can be peaceful and prosperous mm-hmm. Uh, is as personal for me as it be, should be personal for, for all Americans because it is our future that's on the line here in this decision that we as voters have to make about who we want our commander in chief to be. Former Congresswoman Tulsi Gabbard, thank you so much for being here this morning. I appreciate it. Thank you, Dana. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Kamala is is just completely unfit, okay? If you want to watch a comedy movie, you know. Go watch a comedy movie. Don't don't try to turn America into this into this uh, comedy film, uh, electing Kamala Harris and having her experiment on the country. Okay, let's just let's just experiment on the everyday Americans' life. No, don't experiment on me. Don't experiment on us. Do we look like guinea pigs? No. (laughs) Okay, we got enough problems that we're trying to uh, uh, shift through and sort through. Okay, the, the last thing we need is you coming over here, taking us to war and and wrecking us, wrecking our families. Now we got to lose, lose our brothers and cousins and, and uncles. And and if the women go to war, now you got to lose your mom. OK, this stuff is nuts. We, we, we didn't ask for this. OK, they don't care either. They don't care either. And they've made that blatantly clear. All right. So these are all, these are these are just more reasons that just really show you that Kamala Harris does not put us first. And uh, for the people that can't see that, I, I'm going to just keep posting these videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, because it, it's nuts. But that's all for this video, you guys. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. And I hope everybody's having a great and blessed day. Thank you to everybody who left a positive comment, shares these videos, watch this video all the way through. Shout out to the King Squad. Shout out to the King Squad family, the King Squad elites. You guys are all the bottom.com. Shout out to everybody who subscribed to the channel. Welcome to the King Squad. And uh, yeah, you know, I apologize for my my sl- my slight absence, okay? Fatherhood, I, I know, I know. I- Moving forward, though, I am up- upgrading my setup. That's another thing I'll be working on. This is a quick update for, for anybody who cared. But yeah, I will be updating my setup, and uh, that will be allow me to put out more content, okay? I've been experiencing a lot of technical difficulties on the back end, too. But no excuses. We push through, we show up, and we show out. And we do our thing. That's what we do out here, you guys. And, yeah, make sure everybody's drinking the water and take a walk, okay? All this negativity that they try to push on us, all this nonsense, this stuff can get draining. Take a walk. Enjoy the sunshine, okay? Take a drive, a long drive. Don't don't close your eyes and say, Jesus, grab the wheel. I can't, you know, promise you that, yeah, no. Make sure you watch the road, you know. I don't encourage anybody to do anything bad. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just saying, take a walk in the park, you know, enjoy some sunlight, get some fresh air, get a break from all this stuff. All right. Because it definitely can like try to drain you. So that's all for this video, you guys. I hope everybody has a great and blessed day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Well, well, there goes that.